<laughs> He's turning into a real rail enthusiast, a steam man, if ever there was one. Well, that's how it all works at the front of the train. Now I've got to do the bit that I've really been very nervous about. The bit um, where I've got to tell you, it says in the script, Sarah is in the technical carriage and she explains how the programme reaches the viewers. Well, that's why I was very pleased that Carol Vorderman was going to be around because I thought she could explain it to me. Could she? Could she heck? She disappeared off to play steam engines with Philip, that's all I can tell you. So, really, I mean, I don't mind how it works. I only mind that it does work. And from what I hear from the chaps, it all seems to be going more or less according to plan. OK, these are the people in charge of the vision control. This is Don and, and Graham here. They're very busy, as you can see. There are probably more wires. I don't know if... Um, we can get a shot of the wires on this train. It's like, well, it's like Spaghetti Junction gone mad in here. This is Ian. <laughs> Ian, who's had to be in charge of getting this whole thing, keeping it on the rails, you could say. <laughs> There's Bob over here. Bob's in the sound department. Yeah. There we are. Good morning to you. Hello. Everything getting all right? Very nice. Jolly good. Work my way through here. There we are, and here's Tim. Tim's Hello, also Sarah. doing the sound department. Everything's sounding all right, <laughs> as far moment, as you're yes, concerned. Yes, yeah, OK, fine. lots of switches and knobs Which and dials. Fun. And now a rare chance, something that you very rarely get the chance to see, a director at work. No, sorry, the director at work. Here we are, this is Peter Leslie, right. Ian sitting next to him. Ian's pressing the buttons that you, you see what you see sort of thing. That's is that right? Have I got that right? right? OK. Yeah, now. Peter, is everything going all right, according to you? Touch wood at the moment. A quick Christ. cross across to, to Hayley. She's the one who shouts at us, shouts in our ears so that we can hear... Two what, minutes what, left. Oh, two, two minutes. minutes. So you're telling me I've got to hurry up? <laughs> <laughs> I'll hurry up. It's looking beautiful, though, isn't it? Have you ever sat at a more beautiful desk Never. while you're doing a programme? <laughs> it's surreal, isn't it? The whole thing is surreal. Um, right, are we ready to have a look yes, at the are. helicopter shots? Yes. Sir. Because, now, do you want me to explain how the helicopter shots work from the train at this point? Sure, yeah. Is that OK? Yes, please, well, yeah. we have got a satellite dish, haven't we? We've got a up, receiver up on the helicopter. Up on the helicopter. Yeah. We are beaming pictures from the train yep. up to the helicopter. We've got a shot on camera one there. OK. okay. And one. the helicopter is then helicopter. beaming them back yeah. all over the country. And you'll be able to see the picture on heli -telly there. This is the heli -telly. Breaking up a little bit. There's heli -telly. It is, isn't it? Yes. That's what you can see from the helicopter. All right. And is that what the viewers at home are seeing from the helicopter yes, as well? Yes, from the helicopter. It's a little bit flickery, isn't it? Uh, it is on our train, because we're uh, travelling along and... If I, if I bash it, will it work better? It might do, yes. That's Come how technical I am. There we are. It looks quite stunning, yeah. if it wasn't flickering yeah. around, which you assure me it isn't. It isn't. Not at home. It's not. No. Did we get that Ride of the Valkyries bit we're being slayed in? We're just to do that now, if you'd like to All right, the then. Off. If I cue the helicopter yeah. off, I'm queuing, I'm queuing the helicopter off. And I feel like the helicopter to do its done move. Dad's army. And cut to heli telly, Julia. Oh, cut heli telly. And cue the helicopter to its move. Zoom in on heli telly. Fly by on heli telly, please. Can you hear Julia there? That's Julia. He's Butcher's, um, Butcher's owner. Yeah, the helicopter's just going forward. Met Butcher yeah. on the Peter Frog. And you can hear, see that we're steaming along towards Rockley Station now. Back I wonder how far we are out of Rockley Station. There it is. There's the little signal you can see in the trees. It does look beautiful. It's doing very well. Who's actually operating the camera up in the up in the helicopter? Do you know? I think oh, it's well. Bruce. It's Bruce. Well, a very good morning to Bruce. You're doing a great job. There's the shot coming over the top of it. Where is the water tower station? Up on the hill. Up on the hill? Yeah. It's at Four Marks. Ah, that's uh, Four Marks. It's very nice station. There you are. There you go. So that's how you get going live on the Going Live Express. I'm sure it's all very clear to you now. <laughs> we should be getting into Rockley Station very shortly. But before that, Trevor and Simon are still trying to solve the mystery, or perhaps, should I say, the Mr. E. Okay. Thank you. Time. We're arriving at Rockley Station. Follow me through here because uh, we should find a couple more of our guests at Rockley Station. Just check very carefully out of the uh, out of the window. There we are. We're pulling in. Lots of old engines on the way past. Good lord! What on earth is that? Can you see that? Oh, that's Philip there pulling the. Uh, in the communication cord. We're just about to go past the water tower. That's not the water tower that you saw the man operate, operating the satellite dish from. This is another water tower here. 
Oh, there's a really lovely old engine. Look at that one. I wish I could tell you about it. 